Hello guys, good day to all and uh, we are back to our weather analysis. This is for today, Tuesday through Thursday, February 11 to 13, 2025. This is our English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. But before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamagani Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordado. And before we begin with our update, shout out to uh, Mr. Daryl Madrid and uh, Carlo Abonita of BYD Camarini Sur. Thank you very much for your service. I appreciate it. Now, if you're willing to uh, take a look at the new EV cars of BYD Camarini Sur, just uh, look for Daryl Madrid for more details. Okay, and uh, so let's begin now with our update. Here's the uh, latest fascination from the University of Wisconsin Tropical Cyclone page. The shoreline is again weakening and it has gone back to the pure easterly wind flow wherein uh, there are still some showers passing by across the Bicol region, uh, most parts of Mindanao and the Visayas as we are still in the weak La Nina stage. And we have here a low pressure area which is trying to organize over the West Philippine Sea near the coast of uh, Vietnam. But this is no longer a threat to our country. The system will uh, stay put over that area for the next 24 hours and will uh, continue to uh, remain quasi stationary for the next few days until it dissipates. So far, nothing uh, more across the uh, Western Pacific. There is still some cloudiness generated by the intertropical convergence zone and the prevailing surge of the easterly uh, uh, wind system. And uh, by Monday uh, through uh, Wednesday, I think, next week, we'll be having another round of the northeast monsoon returning across Luzon. So watch out for that, for another rainfall that could affect Bicol region, Visayas, as Another shear line is uh, within that uh, new surge of the northeast monsoon by Monday. That will be uh, February 17 through 18 or 19. So uh, take note of those dates for the next arrival of the northeast monsoon. As you can see, uh, during our last update, I mentioned it uh, that we will be having some rainfall due to the shear line in the northeast monsoon during uh, last Friday and then it continued yesterday Monday until today but so far in the coming days it will dramatically improve but the chances of rainfall will remain because of the warm easterlies generated by the weak La Nina uh, climate event okay and as we take a look at the zoom in subtle animation you can clearly see here the cloudiness of the easterlies generating some rain showers and thunderstorms across eastern Visayas, Mindanao, Bicol region, Palawan, and here's that area of low pressure over the uh, eastern coast of uh, Vietnam. As we take a look at the radar shot or radar animation from Pagasa, this is uh, based in uh, diet Doppler radar, okay? And this is courtesy of windy.com. For the past six hours, you can see some patches of passing rain showers and thunderstorms uh, can be observed here over the Wickle region. And as we take a look at the uh, wind and pressure forecast, so here's the easterlies, here's the uh, LPA. By tomorrow until uh, Thursday, that LPA will move towards the northwest, approaching the eastern coastal areas of Da Nang, Vietnam. And... Uh, we will going to observe this if it might uh, have the opportunity of becoming a tropical cyclone but so far the probability remains low on friday it will start to weekend then on saturday it's just a dissipating area of low pressure 
along the eastern uh, seaboards of the Philippines, we are still uh, monitoring the easterlies, which is expected to prevail for a week, okay, for one week until Sunday and Monday, February 17. Another surge in the northeast monsoon can be seen here, moving down across the zone, including Bicol region and eastern Visayas. On Valentine's Day, those who are asking, we might be uh, experiencing good weather, okay, but again, bring your umbrellas, rain gear, cars in the afternoon or evening, there might be some showers passing or occasionally or on and off, okay? And for the rain forecast for the next uh, 24 hours, so tomorrow, Wednesday, February 12th, uh, Easterlies will still prevail over the eastern sections of the Bicol region, eastern Visayas. There might be some showers, but it's quite an improvement compared to the weekend or last weekend, okay? And then on Thursday, the uh, sure, I mean, the Easterlies will continue to prevail, okay? Here, Thursday, but with a lesser rainfall. Uh, uh, amounts okay and Friday Valentine's Day uh, such an improvement will be expected across the big region but the rain showers will still be during the afternoon evening Saturday February 15 and Sunday February 16 much dry conditions will be expected across the big region uh, except for here uh, while over the northern Luzon area the uh, possible uh, northeast monsoon or another surge of the northeast monsoon or possible shear line will bring some isolated to scattered rain showers and thunderstorms as for the wave forecast so far we are uh, witnessing as of this evening wave heights of up to three to almost four meters both sides of the philippine sea the west and the east Along the uh, west, it's a little uh, lower, 2.4 to about 2.9 meters in wave heights. But so far, the inland waters of our country will remain calm to light waves, as you can see here. So until uh, uh, the coming weekend, the wave heights will dramatically decrease to about uh, 0 0.8 to 1.5 meters. While the rest of the country, particularly the inland waters of our country, will remain calm to up to 0.5 meter in wave heights. So far, overall, the wave heights are good, particularly this coming weekend, and, it, and uh, it's suitable for fishing and for sea travel and fishing activities. Okay? So there you go, that's the latest for this Tuesday evening, February 11. We will be returning again in the coming days. This is Mike Padua saying uh, good night to all. Have a great week ahead. Thank you so much for watching. God bless to all.